whatever it is, why I'm so upset, I'll figure it out. And it makes me such a confused person that I don't even know myself anymore. Your mind is like a merchant ship tossing in the ocean. You treat your ships as if they're rich gentlemen of Venice, or like the most impressive floats of the parade. They overlook all the smallest boats that pass by. Believe me, if I was in your position, the better part of me would be hopeful for my ships. I would be looking at maps for the piers and the ports, I'd be checking where the wind's blowing, and anything that might ruin my investments would bother me too. When I blew to cool my soup, it would make me think about the powerful wind would do to my ships. And when I saw the sand, it would make me think about what a beach sandbar would do. And seeing the holy stone would make me think about what would happen to my ships if they were to run into them. And if any of this were to happen, I'd be poor instantly. And this would make me sad, Antonio. This was, must be what's making you sad. Believe me, that's not the reason. I'm thankful for my good luck. And my money's not in all in one ship anyways. Thankfully, this year has been good. Money isn't the cause for my reason to be upset. Well, are you in love then? Of course not. God, no. <laughs> not in love either? Well, then you just must be upset because you aren't happy. It's easier to be happy than upset, you know? God has created some strange people in his time. Some jokesters, some scrooges. But a wise man once said, it's better to just laugh. Here comes your best friend, Sano, and his friends, Graptiano and Lorenzo. I'll leave you guys alone. You probably like them better anyway. I would have liked to try and make you happy, but I'm sure your better friends can do that. They aren't my better friends. I am thankful for you if you have done to try to help me, but I understand you have things you need to take care of, and that's your opportunity to leave. What's up, guys? Good morning to you all. When are we going to get together? It's been a while. I feel like I hardly know you anymore. We'll try and make plans when we're all available. Sonia, since you found Antonio, we'll leave you two alone, but don't forget, we're supposed to meet at dinner tonight. I won't forget, I promise. You don't look too good, Antonio. You have too many things invested in this world. You're gonna get hurt. You really don't look too good. The world is just the world to me. We're in the world where everyone has their own part. Mine's just the sad one. Let me play a happy one. Let the wrinkles from laughing come and drink myself silly, then let my heart grow old and die. Why should a man waste a perfectly good life? Why should he sleep while he's awake and get ill from having such a bad temper all the time? Let me tell you something, Antonio. I love you, and it's the reason I tell you this. There are guys whose faces turn white with age and make a point to show their intelligence, who think they're so highly thems of themselves that they believe they are the chosen one, and that anyone who tries to speak against them, they'll shut them down. Antonio, they are wise because they say nothing, and when they open their mouth, they realize how dumb they really are. I'll tell you more about this later, but don't be so gullible, my friend. This is just my opinion. Let's go. We'll finish talking about this later. Okay, I'll leave you alone until then. I'm obviously a wise man. Gratiano was talking about it because he never let me speak. If you continue to hang around, you'll never know the sound of your own voice. Bye now. For now, I'll talk to you. Thank you. The silence is only for smoked ox tongue and unattractive girls. Does that mean anything to you? Graziano talks a lot about nothingness. He says more nothingness than any other man in Venice. The reasons he speaks are pointless as trying to find a grain of wheat in a husk. Waste. Anyways, tell me about the girl you were planning a trip to find. You told me you would tell me about her. It's not a secret, Antonio. My money hasn't been great lately. I've been spending more money than I have. I'm not complaining, but I need to pay back my debts. I've been wasteful and I owe a lot of people. Antonio, I owe you the most money and love from what I owe you. I give you permission to know how I'm going to pay off all my debts. Please, Bassanya, tell me how, and if I can, to reassure you, I, can, I will do everything I can to help you. Bassanya, when I was younger, if I lost my arrow, I would shoot another and look at it more carefully. I would often find both of them, and I'm telling you this for a reason. I owe you a lot, and I've lost a lot of what I owe you. But if you are willing to shoot me one more arrow, I will pay you back for this one debt, if not all of it. You know me well, but beating around the bush about my love makes me feel that you were doubting my friendship. Questioning my willingness to do all I can is worse than you spending all my money. I am ready to do whatever you need, just tell me what I can do. There is a rich girl in Belmont who is very beautiful, and when she looks at me, sometimes I think she likes me. Her name is Portia, Brutus' daughter. The whole world knows her worth from all over the world who come to marry her. Her hair is golden blonde, and it makes her worth more than everybody's in Belmont. Antonio, if I had to make myself an equal chance with them, my mind would doubt that I will be successful. 
all of my money is currently at sea, or do I have the money for a loan to give you for what I need? But go ahead and try my good name and the people of it. And I will do what I can to get you a portion without money. Go ahead and see what you can get, and I will too. I will get what I can from either credit or personal loan.